Hi Pisces, how's it going? And welcome to your January 2024 general reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Pisces, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Pisces, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Pisces, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Pisces, let's get right into it. Again, this is your January 2024 general reading. Happy New Year to all of you. We'll be doing a Celtic cross today. We've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, for January, for the new year. We are in Capricorn season. All right, my loves. Let's see what's going on. Pisces, I'll have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Younger Water. This is your theme. I love this. This could be a younger version of yourself. Maybe a wish you wanted from back then. That's what I felt immediately for a group of you. This is Young Water. This is fun energy. This is flirty energy. This is meeting someone new, having fun. Hey, I love your shoes. Hey, you look good today. Like it's very sweet, complimentary energy. So this is you and some friends, family, a new person, um, just having fun. Seven of Pentacles in the Sun card. I feel for a lot of you, someone has something up their sleeve. That's what I'm getting. Someone has something up their sleeve. We've got the Sun card, beautiful energy. So a lot of you, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Sun card, could be coming into the new year, meeting. Um, I'm hearing people you wouldn't expect. Maybe I wouldn't expect a friendship out of that person. I wouldn't expect to maybe like this new place, new home, new something. I feel like there's unexpected happiness coming in. All right, we're doing a Celtic cross. What's the current energy, current situation for Pisces? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Current energy, current situation for Pisces. Coming out is the Queen of Wands. I know you're water, but this is beautiful. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you have a lot of fire in your chart. This is beautiful energy. Um, male or female watching also, this is strong feminine energy. You're looking good, feeling good. You're hot, you're radiant, you're confident about yourself, about the moves you're making. I also, this uh, little black cat is catching my attention. A lot of you are very proud of yourself. You know to trust your intuition. The black cat is like your intuition. And wands talk about the moves you make, putting one foot in front of the other. So a lot of you are like, yeah, I was right about that. I was right about this situation. I feel a strong glow up energy from for a lot of you. Learning to trust yourself. What's crossing Pisces? The Knight of Swords is crossing you. Um, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some, and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. Okay, so um, this is definitely a message. It doesn't have to be necessarily an air sign, but the Knight of Swords is, it's an all of a sudden, it's a breakthrough type of truth. Someone knows something. Oh my gosh, I need to tell my friend this. Oh my gosh, I need to text that person that. That's Knight of Swords energy with the Ace of Cups. So this is someone who has a message, something to say to you, Ace of Cups. I love you, Pisces. Let's do this. I want to get to know you better. This could also be maybe you need something to say to somebody. Um, apology for a small group. Why would this be? Oh, because you're the Queen of Wands looking good, feeling good. And now there's a message of Ace of Cups. In the crossing position, it's something that helps you or hinders you. We'll look deeper in a minute. OK, 
Okay, two of cups just flew out and the six of wands just out of nowhere. There's definitely going to be a successful connection coming in with that. What's your focus, spirit? What's the focus for Pisces? Thank you. The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, strong masculine, okay? And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So a lot of you are focused on, could be a person, a water sign, um, but the King of Cups is a connection, a soulmate connection. Um, some of you might want to get deeper with someone, okay? Romantically, a friend, you and someone, a Queen of Pentacles. At work, you might be getting a lot of creative inspiration and can make money, moves, financial gain, benefit off of king of cups creative endeavors i feel like you're sitting on a lot of creativity for a lot of you ten of pentacles you're sitting on a lot of creative abundance inspired action if you feel like i need to write that thing i need to oh i'm inspired by the way that person wore that outfit today i'm inspired by a, a song i just heard write it down do it make it happen y'all are sitting on a lot of creative spirit also energetic and said emotional abundance we have the full moon in cancer energy right now. That's big for all water signs. Let that energy come through. A lot of you have a lot of potential. And it's not just about making money. It's about um, a message that you're sending out. When you are strong enough to use your emotions in a creative way, not only to empower and heal yourself, but putting it in a song, making art from it, making a, a, a fashion wardrobe. I don't know, whatever that expression is for you. It's going to change other people's lives and put a little something, something in your pocket. It's a win, 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 win. That's where we're going. Oh my gosh. That's in the recent past for Pisces. Also King of Cups, a lot of you, again, like I said, in love, romance, family connections are looking to deepen a connection with somebody. Recent past Pisces. Oh, just the King of Wands coming out. Masculine Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Three of Swords, the Lovers, and the Six of Swords. All right, I feel like either you stood your ground, someone else stood your ground. Um, there seems to be some type of choice here. There seems to be some type of choice. Y'all might be dealing with, or words under the fire sign and now a water sign. Some of y'all might have been dealing with Fire energy, someone who's very loud with their energy, loud with their actions. And you're focused now on creativity, softness, gentleness. Either you had to put your foot down in the past or someone else did. What's crowning you? We have the death card. Uh, some of you could be thinking about a Scorpio. We have the eight of pentacles. A lot of y'all are, are working through some type of ending. You're processing eight of pentacles. You're still working on ending something, letting something go, wrapping up the final pieces of a home, place, person, situation. Um, yeah, in your mind, you know something's done or coming to an end, near future. What's coming in for Pisces? We have the Eight of Cups to the Empress. You're definitely moving into a higher position, a higher role um, in your life. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Four of Cups. You're emotionally disconnecting from a person, place, or situation. When you're in the Eight of Cups energy, you're realizing that a person, a King of Wands, um, a place, a situation is it's eight of cups, not 10. It's all right, it was okay, but the person, place, or situation was never gonna be the full emotional thing. And so for a lot of you, you're on an emotional journey to either come back to yourself in some way or to connect or reconnect with family, soul family, soul energy, cups energy, where you feel loved, safe, seen, heard, and supported. I love all of that for you. Let me see you. Can I see Pisces, please? How is Pisces showing up in January? Thank you again for these messages. What's your power, Pisces? What do you look like in January? You're busy. 
you're busy. Eight of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign. You're hustling. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ten of Cups. You are super busy. You are, I feel like a lot of you, Eight of Pentacles is a fo focus, hustle type card. Um, maybe getting your health routine together, catching up on finances, catching up on, I don't know why I keep saying catching up, okay? For a lot of you, that kind of thing. A lot of you literally could be moving. I see Eight of Cups, um, Eight of Pentacles, also 2024, 224 is an eight. The infinity signs is a huge new cycle, new beginning for a lot of you. You could be entering a new job, new situation, but you're you're all over with the eight of pentacles. You're responsible. You're working on it. I'm hearing due diligence. You're doing your due diligence. Like I saw a lot. Of, I see a lot of you also doing like home improvement stuff. Uh, I'm seeing that for a good group of you. Love that. What's hidden from you, January? Spirit, what's hidden from Pisces? Thank you. The world card with the queen of swords that has a major ending, a major cycle. So maybe um, a person, place, or situation is also ready to close a chapter. As you're walking away, someone else is also ready to close a chapter so that you can open up a new chapter for yourself, a new experience. Um, queen of swords, lovers, six of swords. I'm hearing the, the feelings are mutual. What are your hopes and fears, Pisces? I actually love that nothing came out right there in your hopes and fears position. The way nothing came out, spirit goes, really look at that. I go, what do you mean? You're actually at a place where I kind of love that for you. You're not being too hopeful or too as not that you've lost hope but you've released the outcome of things that you want but also in the fear department you're not scared of anything anymore that's why nothing came out spirit goes put it both ways you release the outcome of the things you want so therefore it'll come in for you better than you could have ever expected other part of it in your fears section there nothing that came out because you're really not scared of anything anymore we're going to shuffle again and see what comes out. See what comes out. That's too many. That's too many. That's too many. Hopes and fears, January, Pisces. Thank you, spirit. Hopes and fears. <laughs> I can't. That is the best. I, that is the best card that could have come out. The hair with the three of cups. You're the teacher. Taurus energy. Some of you could be fearing or hoping for a Taurian. But Taurus energy, the Hierophant, this is the teacher. This is the high priest. You could, this is the, the counterpart uh, to the high priestess. You are the teacher. You are the guru. So for a lot of you, you are on fire. You are like the teacher, the people that are, are people are coming to for answers. That can be, a, you know, something that you might like, but also could be something that you fear, right? Like... <laughs> Nothing scares you anymore because you're the teacher that you can teach people how to get through whatever you've been through. You know, you also could be hoping to be in a teacher role. I want to help whoever uh, and share my stories so that other people in my life or in the future generation don't have to deal with what I've been through. Do you know how gosh dang powerful that is? Ooh! Okay, outcome and then let's clarify. What's the outcome for Pisces, January? Thank you for these messages. We have the Knight of Cups as the outcome. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Started with the page. We've got the Knight over here. We've got the King. Okay. We've got Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Card of Sagittarius. Three of Swords behind that and Judgment, Three of Cups. A lot of you have made a decision, um, current energy or, or moving into January to heal Temperance, Three of Swords, to, to heal or continue to heal a loss. If you're grieving someone, sending my condolences, a breakup, a difficult situation that might have resurfaced with the full moon energy. Um, a lot of you are, are giving yourself time to heal, self-love, um detach disconnect from 
With this wands energy, I'm getting where something where you had to really show up and prove yourself. And now you're moving more into a cups energy in your situation where it's more about love, flow, creativity as expression in a very soft, natural way. Because I feel like if some of you are almost going from like, I don't really like to use the word twin flame anymore because it has a lot of different mixed messages with it. But a lot of you could have been twinning, twin flaming someone um, where there's a lot of runner chaser mirroring karmic energy there very difficult lessons with whoever that is a boss a romantic situation a family member whoever a version of yourself mm -hmm. but now we're, I, we're what we're seeing here is in your mind death card you know that a chapter that is either done a version of yourself you've healed i'm done with fighting to get this person's attention, the boss, the person, the group, whoever, because you're focused on love for yourself. Um, therefore, attracting love, it, it's going to come around in, in, in other ways. And again, when I say that, it's not always romantic love, right? We love our friends. We love our family. There's all different types of love. But for a lot of you, you are moving up regardless of your situation, Hierophant energy, where you will be seen, you will be noticed, your story will be shared, you'll be having, you'll have an opportunity to, this is what I've been through, blah, blah, blah. Some of you literally could, Hierophant, be in a spotlight teaching other people um, in, in, in a higher platform type of way. I feel like also with the outcome is the Knight of Cups, there is, again, movement around Cups energy. And those of you in romantic situations, absolutely, I feel King of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, that there is something growing, okay? I love that. Also in creativity, and maybe you work in a creative field or you have something on the side that you do for yourself that's creative. That's also growing as well because with the Eight of Pentacles, you're showing, you're definitely showing up, okay? You're putting in the work, that type of thing. I love this for you. You're, you're going from like one energy into another of like, I want to almost say karmic runner chaser, fight or flight, reactive response, lessons, situations, moving into, and it's not easy, eight of cups. It's not easy to leave because some of those things are fun. Some of those things are exciting because that's the way we were raised but you're learning to change your energy and that you don't have to force anything. You're good enough as is for a new friend. You're good enough as is for a new romantic situation. You're good enough as is for whatever creative, whatever you're putting out there. So therefore it's gonna feel more of a flow, more like your energy of moving into, oh, the ups and downs of a natural flow of something, a relationship, a career change, a little bit of all of it. Let's go deeper and clarify. I've already pre-shuffled and cut your clarification deck just to save some time. Y'all, the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Why are y'all so cute and sweet? Some of y'all, a lot of y'all right here, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles are really stressed, worried about Ten of Wands giving up on something. I'm not putting any more wands. Physical action, effort, walk, putting one foot in front of the other. All you are stressing about putting major difficult effort down and Four of Pentacles calling your power back, saving your energy, saving your money, reserving like you coming back to you. A lot of y'all are stressing about that because it would mean that you have to focus on yourself and not give to others, which is again, a lesson we talk about all the time. It's not your duty and responsibility. It's not your duty, you need to see these cards. It's not your duty and responsibility Pisces, male, female, whoever's watching, it's not your duty or responsibility to put everything on your shoulders. You're not supposed to be the man, the woman, the, the husband, the wife, the mother, the father for everybody. 
Mm -hmm. That hit real hard. I felt it. So when are you going to stop? And put it down and let other people <clears throat> show up for you. But you have to prove that to yourself first. That's 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 vibration energy. That's manifestation 101. Let's look at why you're the queen of wands. Looking hot, feeling good, radiant, trusting yourself. Very, very, very confident in your intuition. You've adjusted your crown or you are adjusting it. They showed, they go look at the crown. Your crown is back on or you're putting it back on. I see you. Why is Pisces the queen of wands right now? Thank you, spirit. Why is Pisces the queen of wands? Current energy, current situation. And again, could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I ain't no holla back, girl. I ain't no holla back. That could be a homework song for a lot of you. We love Gwen Stefani up in here. Um, why are you so hot, Ten of Pentacles? Because you are the full package. You are everything. Even if you don't feel like you have it all, you're in like a, I'm gonna fake it to make it energy, which is that exactly where you're supposed to be. You are the full package. You are the absolute full everything, okay? Knight of Wands, and we have the Four of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of energy right now where you're pulling back. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You might have the big home, the nice career, connection, the kids, or lots of versions of that. But you're actually Four of Pentacles pulling your energy back. Um, that type of thing. What's with this Knight of Wands, Nine of Cups? King of Pentacles, Devil. Yeah, there's something that you're saving special for yourself. Why is the Devil on that? Hangman, Page of Cups. A lot of you are pulling back your energy currently. You're excited to do so. You're catching up on like sleep, glow up energy, that type of thing. And some of you with this Nine of Wands, this is someone you're excited about. An excited passion, an excited someone, someone you're excited about or an exciting like, oh man, I have this creative idea, I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm just getting a lot of you are happy to like pull your energy back, tell people like, you go do it for once. Hey Pisces, can I, ah, like y'all saying no. A lot of you, they're showing, Spirit is saying, a lot of you have a happy face on, when you can say no. And that's something we also talk about in this group all of the time. It is so hard for most Pisces in this collective to say no. So for a lot of you, you're practicing continuing to say no. And you're like, what are they gonna do without me? That's, you know what I mean? Like you're you're like, okay, well, what are they gonna do for one day when I don't do for all these people or situation or you're, you're whoever. Where's Pisces? Where's Pisces? Where's Pisces? It, oh, they're at home tonight. Oh, they didn't come out tonight. Oh, they didn't. People are noticing the absence of you. You're not really anywhere. You're just, you're just taking care of you. Crossing energy, Knight of Swords. Where are you at? Where's Pisces? Hey, Pisces. Ten of Cups. We miss you. Your family misses you. Ten of Cups. Family, soul family, whatever that means to you. Seven of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Swords crossing Pisces? I mean, High Priestess, we're going to take both. Temperance, King of Wands. It's almost like, for example, oh my gosh, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, High Priestess, which again is the counterpart to the Hierophant, um, and then Temperance, which is the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius Energy healing you are you are the healer in your family in your group in your career in your circle king of wands emperor it's like for a lot of you basically whether you're a literal teacher or not just take that with a grain of salt you show up and you've been showing up now that your energy is pulled back a little bit um it's putting it's putting the things you've taught the inspiration that you put out there to everybody for everyone to ideally improve their life in one in one way or another now that you're at home taking care of you more let's say on a vacation on a break now it's time for your students 
to do their own work, to, to walk in their own path. Does that make sense? A lot of you are going to be getting messages right now or coming into January from, I, I feel like, all different sorts of family, blood family, soul family, romantic situations, friend groups, your fam, your people. A lot of you are going to be getting unexpected messages. Hey, Pisces, I never knew how much you did for me. I never knew how much you meant to me. Whether that means you and these people are coming back, I feel a lot of you are at least going to get the acknowledgement that you deserve of what you put in in past experiences are at least being acknowledged and appreciated. A lot of people are following in your footsteps, if you will. Why are you focused on the King of Cups? Um, it's definitely a soulmate connection for a lot of you. Um, creative energy. Why is this your focus, Pisces? King of Cups. Hangman, Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Hermit, Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Star Card. It's kind of like what I just said with the teacher thing. A lot of you are you know what, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to step back. I'm going to let this person do that. I'm not going to, you know, because two of pentacles is on this. There's, you've been really overwhelmed with having to. It's like the free counselor thing. We talk about that a lot. Like you're the, you're the free counselor therapist for a lot of people in your life. And that's also two of pentacles it's something beautiful and natural that you have, that love, that compassion, that natural wisdom, that natural like intuition that you have. Um, and two of pentacles, it really other people really see that and pull on your energy, whether they mean to or not. But that's also something that you're doing. You're realizing, hey, maybe if I don't give all the answers away, if I don't give all of my secrets away, if I don't give you know every step away, then maybe um, these people will learn how to step it up on their own, that type of thing. What's the page of wands about? Full card, eight of swords, and the devil. Some of you are having some trust issues like, hey, I'm going to let, um, and this could even be about a relationship for a lot of you too. I'm seeing a lot of you are testing um, a, a new connection, a friend, a relationship where it's like, hey, they're going to go do their thing. I'm going to go do my thing. Can I have fun with myself? and trust this said person or situation. A lot of you are working on trusting yourself or trusting a person. Why are you two of pentacles, world card, four of swords, strength card? You, you're over, your energy has been overwhelmed for a long time about um, being there emotionally too, too much for too many people. Again, you can't be mom and dad and boyfriend and girlfriend and husband and wife to every single person in your life. You can, but then there's no nothing left for you. Do you understand? So King of Cups is like holding that emotional wisdom, knowledge within yourself, knowing where to keep it for Pisces. And just here, remember what I took? It's like a reminder of people coming to you, hey, sucking on your energy, that type of thing, whether they mean to or not. It's the, you can feel the difference now. It's, hey, remember what I told you? Hey, here's a reminder. I'm not giving you the answer anymore. Remember what I showed you. Remember what I taught you. <laughs> What's this King of Wands recent past? El Diablo came right out. <laughs> Devil came out, Capricorn for some. Ooh, Ace of Wands, um, Eight of Swords. Hmm. 
There's a, there was a new beginning with Ace of Wands, recent past, Ace of Wands, there was, there was a hot new beginning. Definitely feels like a thirst trap situation, someone who you could not avoid. Um, devil energy, a, 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 situ, a, a person, place, or situation, a substance, a person, a location. Um, what's the devil for you? Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, King of Wands, again, strong fire. Probably someone who's very, very attractive that you think about a lot or they think or they think about you a lot. Why Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. A lot of you didn't know if this person, place, or situation that was very fun, attractive, it's fun to whatever, do, be a part of, but if it's devil tie, is tied to it, so it's temporary. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's necessarily good. Devil means sim same as lovers. It's temporary. It's a temporary fix. It's a temporary person. It's a temporary high. It's a temporary whatever, whatever it is. So for a lot of you, you weren't sure if that person place or situation was good for you or not. It really kind of got in your head. Um, I heard for some of you, something almost changed you with the Eight of Swords. But now in your mind, let's look at your crowning energy death card, whatever that was, the temporary fill, we'll put it that way, needs to come to an end. I'm never telling you what to do but that's not healthy for anybody. Why is the death card crowning Pisces? Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Why is the death card crowning Pisces, please? Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Lots of Swords. A lot of y'all are ending something or walking away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Star card, um, Knight of Cups, King of Swords. Ooh, Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. A lot of y'all have found out through someone else, through the grapevine, through seeing something online. A lot of swords energy, communication, online, social media, messenger energy, air energy, air signs for a lot of you. You found out some nasty seven of swords, nine of swords. You found out someone lying to you. Someone was two-faced, that type of thing. Some of you also, you could have been keeping a secret. Like, hey, I know I was hanging out with the wrong crowd. I knew I was doing something I shouldn't have been absolutely zero judgment but you know whatever that is can't be doing that anymore pisces need to dial it down dial it back or turn it off altogether future energy eight of cups now you're emotionally moving on because whatever this temporary fill the person plays your situation it was never going to be a 10 of cups. There was not, there was nothing permanent and long lasting in regards to emotional fulfillment and or safety with something that's temporary and you know it. Oh, that was, that was deep. Oof. Eight of cups, Pisces, future energy. Thank you, spirit. Where in the heck? Could you be going? Hmm. Where would Pisces be going? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. That's right. The thing that we talked about from the beginning. Star card back in your star position, being the light that you really are. Oh, Hierophant back being the guru, the teacher, the the hey, don't fall, don't do what I did. Um. What do y'all say? Dwight Yoakum. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you do what your big sister done? Oh, I love that song. I can't remember exactly what Dwight Yoakam song. I think it's just called Little Sister, Big Sister, something. One of y'all will know, put it in the comments. That is your homework song. It's like the lyrics that I heard for you is, little sister, don't you do what your big sister's done? So it's like someone else saying, 
I'm an outside perspective. I saw this person do. Mm. So learn from your elders, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. So a lot of you, either that's you saying, Hey friend, don't do what she did. Don't do what he did. Don't do what I did. You know what I mean? It's something like that because you're the star. You're, you're teaching other people. Also with the star card tied to it, it is your destiny to be seen and teaching, talking, creating through your difficult experiences. Does it suck when you're in said difficult experience? Of course it does. But this group is supposed to shine that light and help others. So you are so you are always on the right track. Four of Cups, that is something you didn't see coming. Moon card, strength card, ace of pentacles. You might you might be navigating in the dark right now, or you might be in the near future, but you're you're also you're also moon energy, your Pisces energy. That's when some of the be best and biggest blessings come to you. When you take that chance and walk in the unknown. And not a lot of people are willing to do that. But you are. You are majorly, majorly moving up when you decide to let go and detach from the temporary fill. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Eight of Pentacles, let me see you. What do you, this is what you look like. Hustling, working, focusing on lots of different things here eight of pentacles again for confirmation we have the five of wands the death card again scorpio energy seven of wands there's that fire energy we talked about eight of pentacles nine of wands six of wands y'all know i love you so much and i mean this this is going to be a little bit of tough love but sometimes you need to hear it like this the, you're learning a lot of things within you and within you and with outside of you. Definitely lots of things. But the biggest thing I see here is what you're working on in January is stop making excuses. It's too hard. I can't. I'm not good enough. Five of wands, the jealousy, the competitive, the, the making excuses. It's too hard. So I won't go. It's too, it's too something. So I won't whatever. You're working on stopping doing that because that's preventing you also from major, bigger things for you. See, Eight of Pentacles again, Nine of Wands. That, have kept, that has kept you trapped and stuck for quite some time. Six of Wands, King of Wands. But there's a victory when you step out of that. A lot of you have not wanted to leave, walk away, put something down. A person, place, situation, vice, temporary, whatever but you're doing it one day at a time. It's not It's not gonna be maybe overnight miracle, overnight success, but it takes, I'm hearing due diligence again. It takes intention and it takes every single day of, I'm not gonna make an excuse to go back to the thing, the person, the whatever. No more excuses. That's what the focus card is about. Wow, Eight of Cups just flew out again, wow. All right, let's look at your hidden energy, the world card. So a cycle that's coming to a close so that something else can open. And this is hidden, so this is something that you don't know. That could also mean for a lot of you that maybe there's a, a person um, in your energy that they're ending something so they can open up a new cycle um, towards you with you. Why is the world card hidden from Pisces, please? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups again, which is in your outcome energy. Um, we have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel for a lot of you, because the Three of Pentacles and now you're the Four of Pentacles. That's what this is. Exactly almost what I said. A lot of you are dealing with a person, place, or situation where someone else is ending a chapter in their life, they're leaving a relationship, they're leaving a home, they're leaving a, a town, a city, a job, something like that. Eight of Wands and are re at least reaching out and communicating to you. Knight of Cups, 
let's do this. Let's build that team. Let's be friends. Let's be together romantically. Knight of Cups. It's emotional vulnerability. It's creation energy. And again, the Three of Pentacles is saying that something, for a lot of you, something never really fully got off the ground with a career situation, with a person, whatever that is. But now there's potential for it to come together. There's so many creative opportunities coming in. Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands with this person situation. You, I feel for a lot of you, you and someone had to both walk away from karmic situations, either romantically in jobs and careers so that you and someone could come together creatively or in cups and soulmate energy. You and someone might have very similar experiences. I don't really feel, I don't say trauma bonding, but I do feel like you and someone have a very similar experience. We'll be able to make something or create something or come together um, in a loving way to support each other. What is the Hierophant here? Hopes and fears for Pisces, please. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands. I mean, you're just stepping into the teacher role. Ace of Swords, you know that you are. Is Ace of Swords also a difficult ace? Is it hard to always be, I'm not saying you're always right about everything you say, right? We, we know that. You are also a human being. But this Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands on your Hierophant and your hopes and fears is like, you know that you're the one. You know that you have more power than you give yourself credit for. You know, you know the truth of a person, place, or situation before you give it so many months and years of Spirit just said testing. Spirit really wants you to try to work on trusting your first instinct with someone in a new place, in a new friendship, in a new job situation, whatever. We've been waiting for you to leave this to come into this, right? I'm saying that to you, but, but we've, been wait we've been waiting on you to get here and you've been waiting on you to get here. You've been waiting on you. You've been putting your own new beginnings off for, a lot of you had to go through something really dark for a while shadow energy to to look at it and you had you had to address it to know who you really are ace of swords let's look at your knight of cups and a lot of you three of wands there is hair front energy there is a higher level commitment a higher paying position and career a higher level connection in love and romance, not runner chaser, healthy. Not perfect, healthy. It's what's also been waiting for you. What's this Knight of Cups Pisces outcome energy? We'll do the, the uh, pick a card and then we'll go do your love reading. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Pisces? Thank you spirit for these messages. Why is this the outcome? Knight of Cups, love, romance. I heard love and happiness. Okay, okay. World card, three of swords, moon. That's definitely you. Queen of swords, talk to me. Ooh. Why is so much music coming in? Also, I don't sing, so please don't judge my voice. Okay. Ah! I'm obsessed. I love it. Okay. Outcome energy. Um, world card, three of swords, moon card, queen of swords. You're turning into a queen of swords. A lot of you are like really okay with, hey, stop bullshitting me. Don't lie to me because I already know. Um, that type of thing, like anyone who's going to pull the, the, the wool over your eyes, again, your intuition can tell you by meeting that person from the very get go, 
that they're going to hurt you at some point. Listen to that. And those are the types of people that you're like, ah, no, bye, get out of my energy. You're so good or becoming better at saying no, get off, get away, get out, boundaries. Does it make you look like a gosh dang biatch or a you know what, like not very, you know what I mean? Like, does it make you look like an a-hole? Sure, who cares? What's the moon card about? Also, there is in the outcome, moon card, something hidden and secret, nine of swords, queen of cups, six of wands. A lot of you could be maybe worried about a person, a connection, um, how it's going to go. That's the victory card. It, it's going to probably lean more in your direction. You're really, really like getting into your power. A lot of you are really working on your voice. Um, speaking up for yourself, your communication is becoming more clear with yourself and other people about what you want and what you deserve. I'm super, super proud of you. And with the moon card, there's a lot of, and the outcome, there, there's some hidden um, love, expression, romance, hidden feelings for a lot of you coming to the surface because you've pulled your power back and people want to know where you're at and they want to come see you. All right, let's do your pick a card. Pisces, I love y'all so much. Um, those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's going to be the first link in the description box below. And the Pisces that won the pick a card this time is Melly Shaw. Cha. Oh my gosh, I'm probably saying your last name wrong, but Melly, you are my winner. All right, so Pisces, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, it could be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your love and support. Happy New Year. Happy 2024 to each and every one of you. Um, again, if you want to do the love reading, that's the first link um, in the description box below. And for the rest of you, I'll see you next time. Bye. Melly, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. Ooh, I haven't used this deck in a minute, and I'm really excited. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Melly? Pisces energy. Two of Pentacles, Melly, could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're really, really overwhelmed with something new. Empress, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles. You could have concerns around a mother, a mother figure that's at a distance, an aunt, a grandmother. Uh, there's something new happening. I feel like you're overwhelmed by, I should do this, but this new thing has caught my attention. I'm supposed to do this, but this new thing has caught my attention. Two of Wands popped right out for you. So double twos, twos are about choices. you got a choice to make for coming up here. Spirit, what do we have for Melly? Thank you. The, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Came right back up. Two of wands came out. Three of wands came out. Two of pentacles came back out with the seven of swords. Your... You're, I don't want to say you're behind because you're always on track, but there's a plan, um, something that you're trying to do, like renewing a lease, moving, something about either like an anniversary, something that's coming around right now, or something new that you've put off and that's like, that's overwhelming you too. It's like, they're just showing me real simple, like say like when you're in school and it's like, all right, on Friday, there's this big test and you're like, okay, I know there's the big test on Friday. It's like, but I didn't study for it. And now it's Thursday night and I am scrambling to get all the information in so that I can pass this test. Like that's what I'm getting for you. Obviously it's gonna be different, but Melly, let's get two more out.
Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups is you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Cups. Um, there is going to be, with this Nine of Wands, an invitation. There's going to be something that you're going to do or someone's going to approach you about something. And then Queen of Cups, I feel like this is a soft landing here with the Queen of Cups, a relationship, something that's going to work out in your favor. Hermit, Four of Wands, Six of Wands. There's a new chapter in something in your life that you, Three of Wands, I want to say have put off, procrastinated. Because Two of Pentacles, you've been up to something else, busy with something else, taking care of something else, having fun, whatever. Knight of Wands, Zero Judgment. But there's going to be some type of wish fulfillment slash soft landing in this situation. Is how, it, how Spirit put it. What's this Two of Wands? For Melly, thank you, Spirit, for these messages. What is this? Hierophant, Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is like you being in a higher level commitment. Maybe not being in like dating, runner, chaser energy. You're like, I do want a more committed relationship or someone to commit to. I'm tired of these in and out temporary jobs or whatever. I want the bigger role. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You're realizing that wherever you've been in your situation, it's not been enough. And you deserve and are planning for the real deal. Three of Wands, there's been some delays. King of Swords, Three of Swords, you might have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. This person is not good. They lie to you, they probably make you an option. Um, this person is very painful in your life, whoever that is to you. I'm hearing this person held you back. Two of Pentacles. You, you're, you're learning a lesson by this. You're learning a lesson uh, by this experience. What's the Knight of Wands for Melly? Uh, we have Temperance, Three of Cups. There's someone from your past. So this, this Knight of Wands is an invitation. Could be a fire sign, strong Sagittarius. But this is someone who wants to help you. This is someone who is here to, I don't want to say rescue you and save the day, but three of cups, six of cups. This feels like a friend group, um, a hometown, someone that you are comfortable with and know that's here to temperance, here to be here, here to, they're here for you. Why can't I say that? King of pentacles, seven of pentacles, queen of wands. This person is more stable. Um, they could be a family member. There is someone here to like hold you in a warm, fuzzy blanket and get you through this, whoever that is to you. Let's look at your queen of cups. This is a relationship for me uh, with the ace of cups and the 10 of wands. Absolutely beautiful. And what's the wish fulfillment for Melly here? Nine of cups. What is her nine of cups? Something long-term and stable. Mm -hmm. And anything on the ace of cups? Ace of wands. And the Ace of Swords behind that. Who is that? Full card magician. Wow. Um, Melly, my love, you're coming into a lot of new experiences right now with somebody, probably a new relationship. Um, and there's a lot of creative and passion with this person. They want you, you want them. And you deserve every moment of it because the person that's held you back, King of Swords or that experience, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Sun card. This person blew a lot of like fluff, uh, what is it called? Like hot steam, hot air up your skirt or whatever. But that was a test for you to know whether you deserve a person or a boss or a situation like that or not. And now you're playing catch up and coming into smoother sailing waters and a new connection or reconnecting with a person or a group of people that make you feel like home so that you can have a great rest of your life. Like, Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, long-term, steady happiness and success. Congratulations, beautiful. All right, if there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. Happy New Year. I'll see you in the lover you next time. Bye.